Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Uni 2, unique anime fighting game. Is it playable on Steam Deck? Because right now it shows a no. And let me tell you, because I played for around 3 hours already, it is pretty damn playable. It plays just fine. The only thing that you cannot reach to the content is the starting movie. It doesn't play. And pretty much because of that, it's maybe going to show unsupported in the end because it doesn't show the movie. But everything else works just fine. I tested online and I played with Wi-Fi just to see the real experience. If you have it in your hands, what you're going to expect. Is it gonna lag like crazy? People can't play? What is it gonna be like? The only thing that I can say for sure is that on the gameplay, what I encountered online was the people that I have seen before on Melty, they will show up in here with kind of double or triple sometimes the ping. So definitely there is something to do with the Wi-Fi, but I think the indicators are just wrong. Maybe double the ping values and they output a different value. So that is why it goes like that. Overall, you're going to see the pings and then you're going to see that I have two frames of input lag. And then you're going to see the video that there is not really anything going on except me getting obliterated and destroyed for your satisfaction anyway i will boot up the game now all right and here is the gameplay let's boot up the game i'm using an external controller wirelessly just to show you stable how the experience is without really shaking the camera and losing focus this has been one of the things that has been pretty difficult lately to record. Again, yeah, the movie is not playing. Which is really the only time that you see a video, even in the story mode, if you go to play the stuff. It is like a visual novel. I don't think there is any other movie kind of thing. So everything else is fine, as you can see. On a smaller screen is actually pretty sharp, because even when it shows all this, it actually doesn't really render at this resolution. Uh, it's one of the issues that if you have a PC and retains the settings, it's going to be the same that you have on your PC here as well. Not really anything weird. Let's listen to his song. Alright. And yeah, the gameplay, I'm pretty new to this, even though like I played it for a long time when I started playing fighting games. This was really the fighting game that I started playing in Australia, a lot of people were playing it when I came here, but it kind of stopped with clear. Anyway, I'm just trying to see if there is any issues. I have played all this time that I have played here. I have played like three hours all in here. I didn't see any problems with the training mode or input lag again for input lag. It's something that a lot of people don't send their videos about this device. It is best if you use this code. I will include it in my video. It is a land code that when you use this, you will be able to kind of cap everything. It's like when you do it with RTSS, you cap it then and not from the game because from the game, and specifically here, actually, you get input lag when you do this. So we will display, you have to disable the frame limit 
I did it on TTV when I was playing this because mostly I played on the external monitor to see if everything was there on my big TV and everything was fine there and everything is pretty much fine here as well not really anything going on just the, the cool thing with the Steam Deck is that you can have a mobile setup for this game and pretty much for any game that is supported here, fighting game. I played such matches online as well, which I will have the videos that I recorded from the Steam Deck. I wanted to see what how it will go if I did everything from here. And this is the his super move when he is on low life and has full meter. This is his new special. And this is the... Okay. Oh, this is the normal special. Normal super actually, not normal special. Invisible. Yeah. <clears throat> and this game is very interesting. I will try to learn it because anything I remember from the game Unist I pretty much forgot him because there was nothing else like that game, especially with the Vorpal, the DLD gaze, a lot of stuff that I don't even remember what they do anymore, or what they are. So I'm pretty confident, if you want to play it on a Steam Deck, definitely you want to enjoy it. If Steam Deck is your only device, it's fine, the only thing you can see is a video, maybe they will change it in the future. But it's not the end of the world, even if they don't. Gives me an excuse to actually skip it, because usually I stay to listen all the song in the French Fred videos. Just have really good music. And that's it from here. I will show now the netplay games that I did. I intentionally played from Wi-Fi just to be able to show what is the real situation. Oh, <laughs> Second close. Let's よどみなし。ファーストクロース。生きるとは限りない。ちょっと。どこ。生きる。ダン。勝ち点。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。ダン。
セカンドクローズリバイトカウンターファーストクローズ生きるとはかわいいどうするカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴトラカウンターミゴセカンドクローズリバイトカウンターそれで終わりそこカウンター,ンター追い込まれたカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセッフルカウンターセカウンターセキュリティーカウンターセキュリティーカウンターセキュリティーカウンターセキュリティーカウンターセキwas recorded from the Deki recorder, the plugin that Steam Deck has. On the past, I had really terrible experience with this. Now I didn't touch any settings. I left it as it was and it just works. It didn't crash on me. Although, as you can see, the videos wasn't really that big to begin with. But it, it shows that it was working fine and I had no issues at all. The expected, the expected battery will be around three to four hours playing this game, the same online. I will suggest that it's better if you have an external controller or even if you play it on handheld like I usually do, it should be fine. But before you go online, expect that mostly people that are gonna play rank gonna be people with experience that they wanna go and grind to get the top ranks. So it is best if you go to your local community discord and check out people that are beginners, you will definitely find that more satisfaction wise better than just getting beaten up. Although I don't really mind getting beaten up, that's how even like I started playing fighting games like this, I didn't really mind. But a lot of people don't like losing for like a long season. So definitely do that if you're that kind of person. Now, anything else that I noticed? Not really. It works perfectly online and everything. And yeah, obviously it has its issues right now, the game itself, but this doesn't happen from the Steam Deck. If you buy this game for the Steam Deck, probably if you see this in the future, the issue is probably already fixed. I will have updated the description if it has or not and what you will expect coming in the future from this. Because common as games before, Friendsbird game as far as I remember, but let's go and check. 
I'm pretty certain that their previous game was deemed as Steam Deck Verified. But let me go and check Melty Blood and Under Night in Birth. The previous games. Yep, Melty Blood is verified it's here. Just don't have it installed now, but it's here. And I'm pretty sure if they went through the thing to make it verified, they're gonna do the exact same thing for this one too. It's the same development team. They don't have anything to lose. Friends bread. So it's good. That is great thing to have. Let's hope everything goes better and they fix the PC issues that we currently have. But outside of that, I see nothing wrong to play this game online from here. And probably in my experience, even on this Nintendo Switch version, you should have a good experience even online because it is going to have rollback the same way that Melty Blood had rollback as well. And it was playable, very good. I have played it before, many times. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you want to show more support, please consider subscribing. I have my goal to make this YouTube channel showing to people and expressing my feelings about how compatible games and other things are with these specific handhelds like Steam Deck and ROTLR. And if the game plays on Steam Deck, the same thing gonna be on the ROTLR, this specific game. I don't expect any issues as I have tried it also on my Windows computer. So it's all good. Hope everyone enjoys their day. See you next time.